Hey Ross World, my money makes money. And today we're gonna to talk about Wise Banyan. That's Wise Banyan. This is another robo advisor that is in competition with Betterment and also Wellfront. Now, this is not a comparison video, but I will compare. So Wise Banyan management fee is absolutely zero. The service is absolutely free for you to use. The account minimum is zero, but your initial deposit has to be one dollar and this is going to be quite confusing but in order for you to get your account started you have to invest ten dollars but in order to use the services it's free i know it's all over the board i've been doing a lot of research on this since one of my subscriber informed me of this and i'll leave that person's shout out in the description but nevertheless a lot of websites to me are having contradicting information but the things that are consistent i'm gonna give you the information on to open your account, it's absolutely free. You have to have a low initial deposit of $1, and to actually get your account started, it's $10. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's continue on. Now, the promotion they're running right now, for every person that you refer to them, they give you $20. Not 20%, not an increase of how much money they've managed for you. They will give you $20, that deposit inside your investment account. Now, once again, this service is meant for those beginning investors, or those investors who want free management and those who want those IRA accounts because this is really limited compared to Betterment and Wellfront, that non-comparison comparison. Wise Banyan is insured through the Securities Investor Protection Corporation as well as registered with the SEC and FINRA and of course the SEC, the US Securities and Exchange Commission. So you're protected there. Now they don't charge an annual fee, but this is really, really tricky here. Now they say this is a free service. They actually charge you for the ETFs they recommend for you annually. So rid of me this Batman, so I can open an account for free. I have to have a low initial deposit of one and I have to deposit $10 to run it. I know, very confusing, right? So let's just stick with the $10, let's throw the $1 away, but then, you're going to charge me for the ETS that you recommend for an annual fee. And this is a free account. So why is it that Betterman and Wellfront don't do that? And by the way, my Wellfront link will be in the description. Bump this, but continue on. It might be some good things that you learn from this. Now, the accounts that they actually offer is the traditional RRA, the Roth IRA, the SEP, which is that self-employment RRA, rollover or 401ks and their individual accounts. Now, as you know that Betterment and Wellfront, they have that tax harvesting option that they provide to you absolutely free. Now, some of them actually provide up to a certain amount of money because if you wanna make a lot of money, they're gonna take a little money, okay? But up until a certain amount of point, they're gonna do that tax loss harvesting for you for absolutely free. Wise Banyan actually offered it as well, but with a fee attached to it. So already I'm adding up the fees and I know you're adding up the fees little by little. If I take your ETS, you're gonna charge me. If I do tax loss Hobson, you're gonna charge me where these other robot advisor services are not. They have your automatic portfolio rebalances. That way you continue to make money based upon how the market is moving. They do offer your automatic deposit weekly, monthly, and also quarterly. They have an app for Android and of course, Apple. Now they do offer a service that the other two mentioned do not, and that's tax protection. Now they do have a service that the other two don't offer as of yet, which is tax protection. And they group these three little things, they bundle them up, which is the wise harvesting, selective trading, and Roth IRA conversions. This is designed to protect you with your returns from taxes. Now the cost of this is 0.02 a month. Now it's not gonna go above $20. And of course, this has to deal with the amount of money you have in your account. Once again, another motherfucking fee. They also have what they call milestones, kind of similar to Betterment, where they have three options for you to decide. Rainy day retirement, custom, and build wealth. Now, excuse me as I look over very quickly, I really want to read this to you and I want to, I don't want to skip any details. It's very short. Now, as I was saying before with these different accounts, you can only open individual taxable accounts or traditional and Roth or SEP IRAs. 
Now, you can't open up a joint taxable account with your spouse, with your wife, with your husband, as you can do with other robo advisors and also brokers. And then you cannot open up a trust or a custodian account for your kid, for your child, that 529 college plan. So getting back to that tax harvesting, that tax loss harvesting, now theirs is called paid tax law harvesting. And they're gonna charge you 0.25% annually to do those tax loss harvesting options, the same as Betterment and also Wealthfront. But Wealthfront and Betterment do not charge you for tax loss harvesting. Now you always hear me talk about diversification, diversification. Now when it comes to Wealthfront, they have 11 asset classes. When it comes to Betterment, Betterment has 13 asset classes and these are split up into stocks and bonds. Now with Betterment, they have six stocks and have six bonds of these funds that they actually diversify in to give you the best possible option for your money so you can make money. Now, the thing about Wise Banyan, they only have nine asset classes, three stocks and six bonds. Now, if anyone knows about stocks and bonds when it comes to asset classes and putting your money into one of these robo advisors that mainly deals in ETFs and index funds is when you have only three stocks and you have six bonds, bonds are mainly for what in these funds? Security, security of your funds. So you're like, okay, great. They're gonna protect my funds in case the market moves too far down or has a huge drop and decrease. Yes, but, but it does not protect your money from inflation. Let's not forget about inflation. So with Wellfront, you have 11, they have a really good split. And with Betterment, as I stated before, you have six stocks and seven bonds. So that's a really good mixture of how they will move your money, whether it's for inflation or a huge drop in the stock market percentage. Now, this is also something imperative and vital to note. Wise Banyan, Wise Banyan, I said it twice for a reason, will charge you, will charge you for deposit and withdrawal fees. Now, I cannot add up. I cannot put all together all the fees that I am telling you. You might have to rewind this damn video and go over it again because it's so many fees. They also charge you $75 to transfer over your 401k or one of your IRAs inside of your account. $75, okay, $75. Wise Banyan is not to be compared to Wealthfront, neither Betterment. Now, if you want free account management, and goal-based service, as far as like Betterment, they have these particular goals that you actually want to reach, then this is a service for you, but it's a lot of fees. I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend this at all. I will not put my money in Wise Banyan because they're probably banking on that you forget all these fees, 0.25%, 0.02%. 75 dollars here another 0.25 percent here this is a lot of money being thrown around now some people are saying that they have less fees than betterment now i'm not going to let betterment get off the hook here because now if you can remember a video i did when i was comparison betterment versus wellfront and you can reference that video right here but Betterment charges you Betterment charges you 0.35%, that's 0.35% on accounts with the amount of 0 to $10,000. Now when your account gets to $10,000 to $100,000 or 99, they go down to 0.25% and once your account gets over $100,000 and once your account gets over $100,000 is 0.15%. Now with Wellfront, for those who are beginning to invest and they're just starting off, Wellfront is gonna manage your account up to $10,000 and with those promotions, which you'll have in the bottom in the description and also through other websites, 
up to $15,000. Now, if you send your invitation code out to your families and friends, they're gonna up that amount $5,000. So essentially, depending on how much money you start putting in your account, they can manage a lot of money for free and they also have those tax loss harvesting and all those tax saving strategies absolutely free, unlike Wise Banyan. So at the end of the day, guys, go do your research. Don't take my word for it. I'm just trying to give you the meat and potatoes of this. But if you want to compare Betterment against Wellfront and against Wise Banyan, then do so. But in my opinion, Betterment and Wellfront are better than Wise Banyan, even on their worst day. This is Ross World, where when you get into these robo-advisors, you really, really have to watch out for fees. And don't forget this one particular fee. They're going to charge your ass a percentage for them choosing the ETFs that you'll be using in their account to help you make money. That don't make no fucking sense. I'm out.